breaking. It is National Police Week, and today in Cincinnati, they gathered to honor the 112 U.S. police officers who died in the line of duty last year. It is a solemn and a touching annual event in Cincinnati. Unfortunately, it's been 13 years since a Cincinnati officer was killed. Local 12's Joe Webb was in the crowd today with a unique group of people on the job for their first day. Joe joins us live with their story. Hi, Joe. Well, Kit, there were a few hundred people on hand for today's events, most of them police officers, sheriffs, deputies, state troopers, federal agents. Also on, on hand today were the men and women of Cincinnati's 103rd police recruit class. They're new to the academy today, but they're not new to police work. Every year, ceremony and service meet on a somber May morning in Cincinnati. Today, hundreds met in March to remember those who can't. For these 20 men and women in white, their careers as Cincinnati police officers began at 8.30 this morning, but not their police careers. This is Cincinnati's first class of lateral recruits. They come from all different uh, law enforcement agencies. Some have three years on, some have as high as 14 years on. Different law enforcement agencies from all over the state of Ohio. Ryan Lay usually serves in the Hamilton County Honor Guard on days like today. This morning, though, he was recruit Lay, standing at attention on Fountain Square while others advance the colors. He's a longtime Marymount police officer. Losing a great police officer, Ryan did a great job for us. He, uh, Worked with us uh, nine years and uh, just uh, did everything we asked him to do. Very dedicated officer. Some are taking pay cuts to join Cincinnati. Some were supervisors in their departments. Because of their experience, the academy training and field training will be cut by more than half. So 16 weeks of training compared to almost nine months of training for a regular recruit. And you can, so you can shorten it up by six months. So in other words, these guys will be street ready with some level of experience six months sooner than it would if we had a regular recruit class. And you know your recruits know they want to be police officers. Weissman is excited about their prospects. We've not hired anybody in six years. So I, I told these guys this morning, this is a very special day. A very special day for police in Cincinnati in so many ways. And this is sort of a first for Cincinnati to look for veteran officers to want to work in an urban police department. But they did something similar a few years ago when a bunch of police officers were laid off in Cleveland. They brought them down here and they put together kind of a shortened academy for them as well. Now these people in this recruit class may be police veterans, but they are honest to goodness cadets as of today. Their police powers have been suspended until they complete the, their academy work. They expect them to be on the street in Cincinnati sometime in September. Reporting live outside the police memorial, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Kid? All right, thank you, Joe. And September is when the city's planning on another more traditional recruit class. Wiseman says the class will have 60 men and women.